Well, there is new drama surrounding the Oklahoma County Jail Trust tonight. True groups are calling for the trust to be dissolved and for the federal government to step in. They are also calling out a former trustee just days after she resigned. News 4's Tanner DeLeon is breaking it all down. Members with both organizations say the conditions and operations at the jail have only gotten worse since the jail trust was put in charge of operations back in 2020. Now they're asking that the jail trust be dissolved immediately. Under her leadership, the jail became a cesspool of violence, rape and torture, where at least 47 detainees tragically lost their lives unnecessarily in the jail over a three year period. Since the jail trust has taken over in 2020, the Oklahoma County Jail has become one of the deadliest jails in America. CJAC was adamant that they wanted control over all three divisions. And that was really a negligent uh, aspiration of theirs because they were no way prepared to manage a maximum secure facility uh, by nine unqualified trustees who had no experience dealing with criminal justice systems. Sue Ann Arnold resigned this week, claiming she wasn't getting the funds needed to improve the jail. But Banna and Fogg disagree, saying her, along with others, use funds for personal gain. Every time someone is arrested and they go to the judge, they generally either are at the diversion hub or if they have community service, they automatically get shine under Brian Maud. So we have two people who are instrumental in running our carceral system in Oklahoma County who profit from incarceration. Sue Ann Arnold is in charge of the Diversion Hub, a service to help people get back on their feet. Members also point out the amount of failed inspections since the takeover. We've had a total of seven failed health department reports. The last time we passed a health inspection was in 2019 under Sheriff P.D. Taylor. And they harp on the fact that money was never an issue. A reality in the math would suggest factually that the body in this county jail received more funding in those three years than the county sheriff had received in any annual setting. They believe there's only one way to fix the problems plaguing the jail. The Department of Justice should take over. Our demand is for the immediate dissolution of the jail trust, which was also recommended by the state multi-county grand jury investigation. In Oklahoma City, Tanner Daly on Oklahoma's News 4. Now, we got in touch with the jail trust chairman, Joe Alwa, who said the allegations are not true. He said he plans to provide News 4 with a statement addressing the allegations tomorrow. We also reached out to Sue and Arnall and we're told it may be a few days before she has a response. However, Live Free OKC, a violence intervention program, sent us a statement that reads in part, Ms. Arnall has been a true champion for people in the jail, and to suggest otherwise is wrong. She has dedicated so much of her time and energy to the well-being of people who are otherwise overlooked and unseen.